Now, as engineers, we all know how crucial inspection and measurement is. Here at the University in Nottingham, we're going to find out how they're actually working directly with Mitutoyo. Richard, thank you very much for the invitation to the University in Nottingham. Now, you've got a fantastic advanced manufacturing facility here. But tell me how this actually works and how you run this building. Okay, so we are uh, the Institute for Advanced Manufacturing and we were previously on uh, other campuses and uh, spread around, all the manufacturing was, was spread around. So we made the decision to put all of the manufacturing in one specific building, which is purposely built for what we require. So we built this building, it's a 24 million pound uh, building, uh, which was uh, developed, uh, we moved into last year. Um, it houses all of the advanced manufacturing research in Nottingham. Now Nottingham has uh, perhaps the largest manufacturing research uh, portfolio uh, in the UK, or certainly one of the largest, and we work very closely with the aerospace industries, which of course are focused around the, the Midlands region. Um, within the Institute for Advanced Manufacturing, we have research based on additive manufacturing. We are, in fact, one of the largest additive manufacturing groups in the world, research groups in the world. Uh, we have composites manufacturing, and we have the EPS EPSRC Composites Hub here. We have precision and aerospace manufacturing, and we work with the likes of Rolls-Royce and Airbus, BA Systems, etc. And because of that, Nottingham made the decision to also uh, establish a metrology group. And that's where I came in to, uh, to start this group around uh, four years ago now. So we have uh, a large metrology facility. This is one room of, uh, of two rooms. This room is where we have mainly commercial kit. Uh, and then we have a, a research facility where we actually develop the next generation of manufacturing equipment. Now, now today we're, we're principally here for uh, Mr. Toyo. Now you've invested a lot of money in the um, CMM behind us, but could you tell me a little bit of that journey? Why did you choose Mr. Toyo uh, when there is other brands in the market? So, so as a, a research facility, we have to have a certain amount of. Uh, um, we, we don't we don't want to be too favourable to one well, to just one manufacturer. So we have to look at uh, all of the different facilities which are available. However, in on the on the for coordinate measuring machines for us has to be a highly accurate, highly uh, repeatable, uh, highly stable system which we can trust. And that's where Mitutoyo come in. So, so Mitutoyo machines, their, their, their pedigree of building metrology equipment uh, means that we can trust the machine. Once we have established the accuracy, the ac accuracy is stable within time uh, and, uh, and, and hence we, we, we chose this machine. That the core of our research for on CMMs is not really developing new coordinate CMMs. We develop optical systems here, because really optical systems are what can be used in uh, for fast manufacturing and in process, etc. But ultimately, we always trace back to contact systems, and that's where we needed a stable, accurate CMM which could act as our at the top of our traceability chain and allow us to, to, uh, to, to prove that we have that accuracy in the optical systems by calibrating them against the mechanical systems. Well, that's quite interesting, actually. Mitutoy are very well known in a lot of universities, in, in a lot of you know, companies like the AMRC, for instance. You know, they're doing a lot of work there. But what's quite interesting here is that you're offering your services out to the market, aren't you, rather than maybe students actually using this facility? Yeah, so, so we, we don't really train undergraduate students using this facility. This facility is far closer to industry than maybe some of the other academic centres. So whilst we do the fundamental research here, uh, and if we went into the other lab you can see lots of uh, um, fundamental research into next generation, what's done mainly in this lab is working with manufacturers. So directly with manufacturers to, to work out how their manufacturing processes operate, how they can incorporate metrology into their manufacturing processes, how they can improve the metrology that's in their manufacturing processes. And for that, we work directly as a facility with industry, also with uh, the catapult centers, so the AMRC, the Manufacturing Technology Center, we're founding uh, partners in the Manufacturing Technology Center. So we work very, very closely with industry right across the, the TRL levels. Now, when you look at uh, y y the facility that you've got here, 
I would imagine obviously your, your customers are very much like partners, but also Mitotoyo must be a partner and obviously the backup and support you get from them. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, this is absolutely key. So we, we, we never just buy a piece of equipment. Uh, it's not how we operate. Uh, we're, we're, not, we're not there just to buy an equipment and sell it as a service. Uh, we don't do that. We're, we're a university that's, that's, that's effectively doing research, even if that's high TRL research. So with all of the uh, partners we work with, uh, including Mitotoyo, we work very, very closely with them. We work on how to improve their systems, how to calibrate their systems, how to use their systems in various applications, etc., with our industry partners. So working closely with the, with the, with the partner is absolutely key. Uh, and all of our, uh, all of our, all of the instruments that we use, we have a research relationship with those people. So we have PhD students that are working directly on on the CMM. We have uh, uh, PhD students that are using the results of the of the CMM for their various research projects, etc. So how, maybe how to how to calibrate the optical systems which they're developing as their main project. John, you've been with Mitsutoya for over twenty years now. A lot of critical parts go into this Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engine. Now, you, you look after this area, Nottingham, Derbyshire, but it's quite unusual to actually work with universities and academies. Why is Mitsutoyo so prevalent with some of the products? So it's, it's a, a core philosophy of Mitsutoyo to, to uh, actually improve education within metrology. Uh, so whether that's through our own training centres, uh, with City and Guilds approved uh, metrology courses or assisting facilities, universities, colleges, that kind of thing. Do you think also it's a branding side because obviously a lot of young learners I suppose you don't know where they're going to end up and they could be making decisions with budget. It is important yeah I mean to get the products in front of you know young people getting them using the products understanding how precise it is, well made it is, is important. And when you look at the portfolio of products that you've actually got, what, what's more popular for, for universities like Nottingham, for instance? Uh, it's, it, it's very much horses for courses, really. It depends on what, what particular expertise the universities are doing. Could be, you know, CMMs like they're doing here, or it could just be small tools, micrometers, calipers, that kind of stuff. It's, it really is depending on what, what kind of research they're doing. And I suppose the benefit with Mitsutoyo, you've got a, a massive portfolio of thousands of different products, but w when you look at the, the patch that you look after, I presume sort of aerospace is quite key, isn't it? Yeah, aerospace is a big part of my area. Um, there's a lot of Rolls-Royce plants in my area. Uh, so yes, aerospace is a big, big, big key, key industry for me. And engineers uh, maybe not knowing Mitsutoyo, what, what would be your message to them, John? It's quality stuff. It's Precision, well made, accurate, well put together, well supported equipment.